This is CCL nano coating on a 16 ounce container. Uh, it comes in three different sizes, 16 ounce, 32, and 128 ounces, which is a gallon. Uh, this little bit of product will do a long, I mean, we'll do this boat um, totally. So it goes a long way, a little bit goes a long way, and it's boosted by polycharger. And this nanotechnology uh, enhancement that this product has, it makes the coating a lot stronger. It doesn't wash off with just regular wash down, so it outperforms any traditional waxes by far. So it creates like a, a, like a net of polymers, uh, and they get to dry hard, so they're, they're not gooey or they're not accepting oils. And it's very important. If you apply this coating on cold surfaces, it will not get to dry. So you might get black streaks because the product never got to dry. So you want to apply it to a clean, shiny surface. So um, we recommend this product only to be applied on surfaces that have a shine, whether it's newer paint or it's old paint that has been polished and buffed to a perfection shine so the surface makes a clear, a clear coating on it. So I'm just going to demonstrate how much is this is our hand applicator. I'm just going to spread a little bit of product. That's enough to do quite a bit of surface actually. So we're just going to make sure there's no haze in the surface, there's nothing left. Um, you can do it by sections. Ideally, you can grab a, a large panel, clean it all up, make sure you have removed all the excess of the, of the prep, and then go on on a circular motion and just spray. You can see like a haze of oil going into the surface. And it's basically liquid polymer and it's in a clear form. So you kind of make sure it's all throughout. After you know it's thin, you grab the dry side of it. And you want to keep in mind that uh, as it gets saturated with more surfaces, it becomes too much product in it. So you want to make sure you keep a dry side or use a clean towel to maintain it dry. So that's very important. So you can keep it dry and then kind of stretch a little bit so it's, it's thinner. And then you can grab your dry side and just sort of stretch it better. So right now I can see from the angle that it's just going in real thin. And that's the ideal way to apply the coating. Usually in surfaces like this, we will use our mop applicator, which our mop applicator works the same way. We spread a little bit of product even and it has two different uh, ratios. You can do like a mist, and this is what we're trying to do. And then you go into the surface, you can go sideways on it, and you can see how it goes in. Spread it real good, and then stretch it. And then stretch it even. It's almost like you were doing a light coat of varnish. But it's, it's just the technique of, of making it all nice and even and shiny. And it will dry, it will blend in just perfectly. So right now, this coating is going to take approximately in good dry conditions, which is San Diego, Southern California, um, will take about 20 minutes to dry. Um, West Coast, is, or the southern part, is pretty fast. If you're Pacific Northwest and it's a lot humid, uh, I would not apply it if I know it's going to rain, because the product doesn't combine well with the rain. Same thing in Florida and in any of the... Uh, eastern regions, so just kind of time it well, if you might, um, and if it rains, you might going to have to reapply. So I, I know for some boats that are staying in Florida, they always rains, uh, it's, it's inconvenient, but you'll get the grip. After you do a few sections and you, you time it well, uh, you'll see that it's very fast. You can do a large section in very little time, and you can reapply in very little time. So the surface is nice and dry, the clear coat have able to harness, so it's like a clear shield. Um, if for some reason I over apply the coating and the next day or hours later I come over and it's just streaking and I say, well, this product should be wipe on, walk away, but there's streaks on it. Well, maybe it's because I apply too much or I didn't took the excess to start with, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the excess will remove fairly easy. And, and uh, the regular maintenance, um, we use repellent watch. We all used to vinegar and water. Vinegar and water works fantastic, but the only downfall of vinegar and water is an acidic solution and it will strip out waxes. So what we have is a product called Repellent Wash that is also boosted with Polycharger and it enhances the coating as we use it. So it will clean and leave a slick surface without being, uh, without stripping the, pro the protection and it's, it works excellent. For example, if you do a wash down and you're shamming down and the water was way too dirty and you're leaving like shamming streaks and things like that and you got owners coming or guests coming and you just want to look really sharp, just spray a little bit of product into, this, into the chamois or into the microfiber, I will say. Um, or, and you can use this for any surface, including um, clear coats on, on varnish, meaning if you use an Albright kind of clear coat type, or stainless steel, or even your glass. So just spray a little bit of product. 
and I just go into the surface, I can see it very lightly going in, and I know as I'm going it's cleaning, and at the same time it's leaving a little bit of protection in it. So for next wash it's going to be nice and slick, and I can feel it just nice and smooth, and it's just by basically going through. So you can, after the wash down, or just instead of walking around with your vinegar and water, you basically just walk around with your repellent wash, just use a little bit of product. If you don't have to spray the surface and use a bunch of product, just a little bit on your towel, that is enough to get it wet. Um, what will scratch your paint is grit. So if the surface is very lot of grit and you're grabbing a bunch of grit in your microfiber, yes, that could scratch the, the, the surface. So as long as you, you have several towels uh, or microfiber towel, a pack of 50, the idea is that you do not use a towel until it's dirty. You, use, you continue rotating it and washing it all together. So you keep your towel clean, you spray a little bit on the towel, you put it on. If you feel comfortable doing it on the surface, you can spray a little bit on it, don't need much, and just spread it around and you can feel that it's nice and smooth. You can find more information about our products at www.c-shield.com and that is S-E-A-S-H-I-E-L-D.com.